Is this how we're shining the block? <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> Just did my double chin. I mean, you're looking great. Look at her, y'all. Guys, I feel like sweatshirts are kind of funny because from the front, it's like, oh, you know, no biggie. But then you go to the side and you're like, oh, she's pregnant. That's how I feel when I'm not pregnant. <laughs> Okay. What are we up to today? There's a lot of different things I want to just take you guys along for today. It's currently Micah's nap time. Here, and... one second. I'm going to move this trash can out of the way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> They're so big. <laughs> Babe, okay, but honestly, y'all, I'm so bad about drinking enough water. And I feel like if I have this with the straw, I drink so much more water than any other way. Yeah. I just noticed. No, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you drink the water. Also, can we peep someone special? <laughs> hey, Bubba. Isn't that so sweet? Oh, my goodness. And we haven't even welcomed people back to the channel. No, that's when I was like, is what this we how doing? we're starting? I don't even, Babe, is that even on us right now? It feels really high. Did you guys know that we have a new camera? Did you guys even know that? Could you tell the quality in the last vlog? Like, let us know. Our editor, Jared, helped us pick out new gear because it was like, that gear was like was four tight. or five years old. And we're yeah. like, hey, let's get new stuff. And I want to show you guys, actually. Sorry, this is fun for me. Look at this thing. All of the fingerprints on the mirror. Like, and yeah, look at this. Sorry. You can see all the wonderful fingerprints. Actually, you can't see. Look, this camera is that good, babe. They can't even see it. So, anyways, welcome back. To our channel. So what are we doing? Well, we're gonna pretty much speed do as much as we can while Mike is done. I feel like I have not fully nested yet and I'm 31 weeks pregnant now and I feel like it's about that time. Like with Micah, the nursery was already done. Like things were already mm -hmm. kind of set in place and we actually just got a ton of stuff in from Kohl's and it's all organization stuff for the home. And I'm looking at our pantry right now and it's giving me anxiety like yep. i do not like a messy pantry situation and so i'll show you all the little things that i got but i'm gonna try to like pull things out and start organizing the pantry as quickly as possible and then i also want to pick paint colors for the boys rooms are you gonna tell them what you're doing you're gonna show yeah. the is there like a mood board yeah i do have a mood board i'll show you all a couple little things i'll like and you can help I'll us choose the paint colors the, because the, there's like, what, six options? There's six options. By the time this is live. We may already have chosen. We may already have chosen. Okay, well you can, you can. I will say that. But, yeah, so you um, can comment and let us know which ones you think we, we chose. Yeah, I'll give you the vision. I'll tell you like what my ideas are, but I will tell you guys, I've just felt like I've been in decision fatigue lately. Like there's like way too much in my head at all times. And so I had this vision for something like super unique and super cute for both. And I'm dialing it down yeah. a little bit. Cause Good. I just like need to get it done. Yeah, and you need so, to do what you can handle. Yeah. And so, anyway, it's gonna do that. I'm gonna clean up the playroom, just do like a quick little clean. Oh, and then I'm gonna give you guys an update. Oh. <laughs> if you follow me over on Instagram, I failed my glucose test and- Do you wanna save that for later? I'll save it for later. Yeah. I'll tell you guys about that. I'm gonna show you guys some stuff that we're working on. Okay, so this is, ooh, I need to zoom out. This is our pantry. It actually doesn't, to me, it doesn't look that bad, right? It does not look that bad, but yeah, it actually, no. The more I look at it, the worse it gets. And so that's gonna get solved. Yeah, this is a lot of the stuff that we got. I haven't even like opened it yet. And some of the stuff is actually for the fridge, which I'm excited about yes. too. But yeah, it just, it needs help. And then I also got all these really cute little baskets. Yep. So I'm gonna take all the tags off and yes. start with the baskets. And so we had talked about, you know, do you guys wanna see the loft that's a mess or the garage? Well, good news, we got super blessed and the garage has actually been picked up. So I'll show you guys that. I, uh, I'm so shocked and I'm actually gonna show you a picture of a before right here. And then this is where we're at now. So there's still boxes, there's still stuff we have to recycle and get out of here. But that's super, super exciting. I can't tell y'all, like the amount of stress that I was feeling from the boxes was, is, honestly, is probably, probably something I need to talk to God about. So things are actually really coming together. We're really starting to feel at home here. Even though Tori had like a boys play day over here and it was adorable. It was like four boys all hanging out with baby Micah. And like, 
the baby gates are getting ripped off the wall and kids are just like, Rrr! and so it's like a, it's a boys, boys type of hang. Yeah. But yeah. It's been clean. This is just the best from this morning. Any like wake window that Micah has, once he goes to bed, we do a clean. Yeah. Because hundred percent. it's a playroom. It's supposed to get messy. It's what it's for. So. Amen. Okay, I'm not sure about you, but when I have a space that is organized, I feel like it is a huge win and that I operate so much better. But our pantry was truly just stressing me out every single day. I didn't know where things were. There were crumbs, like just pure chaos. And so when I got on the Kohl's website and I found so many cute, functional and aesthetic organization systems, baskets, etc. You name it. Honestly, their home section is just killer. Like when I got on their website, I had no idea how many home things that they had. I even got a postpartum uh, little cart too. So I'll have to do a full blown nesting video preparing for postpartum and show you guys how I organize that as well. But Anyways, I just want to encourage you guys to check out the home section at Kohl's because it is making this little pantry revamp and honestly other sections in our home as well. Just so easy and affordable and I cannot more highly recommend y'all checking them out. I had to make a little lunch while doing this, but it always looks crazy before it's gonna look better, <laughs> but it's looking clean in here. I still have to get these things actually like down and unpacked, but I just put all of our little like, you know, kitchen things. What do you even call those things y'all? My pregnancy brain right now. Oh, we have some here. And then I went ahead and just moved over all of our, like we love to buy in bulk toilet paper, paper towels, trash cans, etc. So that'll all just stay over here. But it feels good to have like just a clean slate and also LOL. We have to keep our plates in here because our our kitchen cabinets are pretty shallow and so they don't fit. But anyways, let's get to it. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, that took so much longer than I thought it was gonna take. I'm about to unwrap these organizers and don't get me wrong, I love baskets. I love the aesthetic of a basket and I'm excited to use the baskets, but there's something about clear bins when you're organizing like food, pantry, fridge, you can just like really see what's in it that I love and highly recommend y'all going to the link um, in our description and checking out all the things that Kohl's has. They were having the best deals on all things home, home organization, etc. And I just feel like this kind of stuff can add up so quickly. And I think some of what I got was literally like 50% off or something. And so check out what deals they have going on right now. I think these are for the fridge, like for fruit and stuff, but I might even use them for the pantry still, to be honest. So very excited about this. Very excited to be partnering with Kohl's for this video. Such a blessing. This is definitely for the fridge. These are for the pantry. Anyways, I'm gonna unwrap these things and touch base with y'all in a second when I have a better plan. Okay, so Tori's still working on a better plan, but she's definitely making headway. I should probably be helping her, but I may also just be getting in her way. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you like feel like you guys wanna help and end up getting in the way. Uh, she's like, come help me. Can I tell them something real quick? Do you wanna even take a break? Yeah, let's come let's come take a little a little siesta break. Cause I wanna share with people something that I have learned. I wonder if I can sit it up here. Oh wow, look at this. Oh my goodness. Number one, sorry if you can hear all that construction happening right now, but I know you guys don't mind. Um, <laughs> I just got back from a men's group where we met up in Austin, Texas, um, like we do every February. And then we meet up in Colorado in August. And I, in the past, I've always come back with like six things, seven things I wanna change. And then those things never get changed because it's too much at one time. 
kind of like unloading the pantry all at once. Mm -hmm. Anyways, yeah. I wanted to learn you all some knowledge real quick and share my big like revelation that I had and hopefully it'll spark something within you depending on where you are in your life stage. So what I would encourage you in is focus less on the specific details of what I'm saying and focus more on the heart posture. Okay, so at this men's group, towards the very end of all the sessions, it was basically like, okay, what's your one big takeaway? And I prayed and God slapped me with something super fast and it was detailed, but it was just like, you're, you're revolving your life around work, not around me. And I was like, uh-oh, you know? Cause it's hard because as adults, we need to work. You have to pay for groceries. You have to pay for diapers, you know? Like work is a, a necessary thing and it's also a good thing in a lot of ways. I realized that every time Tori and I would get together to do our weekly team meeting, which we actually took a big break from because we just were falling apart, we were basically plugging in all of our work and then everything else would get the scraps. Mm -hmm. And so I'm not sure if you all have seen that analogy where if you have a bunch of sand, a bunch of pebbles and a few big rocks and you try to fit them all in the jar, if you put the sand in first, then the pebbles and then the rocks, the big rocks, they won't fit in. You can't fit everything. But if you put the big rocks in and then you put in the pebbles and then you put in the sand, the pebbles and the sand can, can fall alongside the rocks and still fit in there mm -hmm. because your priorities are right. So you could fit everything into the jar because your priorities were on the right track. And then that's where I realized that our priorities have been so wrong. Mm -hmm. We've been filling our jar up, our life up with this much sand. And then when we try to devote other type of priorities, it's just, it's hard, we can't fit it in there. And then we're too exhausted and all this stuff. And so we're making some really fun changes to where I don't know how this will shake out, but one of the current things that we're trying right now is Tori wrapping work around 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean she's done with work because she's going to do the hardest job, which is being a mother. So just so you guys are aware of that. But we started just to envision what does our ideal week look like? And we spent time thinking about it. We spent time processing it and we're still processing it. We're still gonna continue to build it out. Yeah. But it was like intentional. But the heart of the ideal week is centered around what is our family mission statement and how are we living that out? in the world through what God has given us through talents and through resources. And so for you all, if you're not married, what has God equipped you to do right now for your own vision mm -hmm. right now, for your own mission in this season for you right now? Or if you have 10 kids or no kids, what does that look like for you? And it starts with the end in mind because we don't want to get to the end of our life and be like, oh my gosh, we worked so hard not for his kingdom not for the family mission that he has given us. We so you wanna start with the end in mind. So think about the end goal and then work your way backwards. I know I actually shared that I think in the last video, but these things have just been just kind of flying around my head a little bit. And we've been trying to create some good systems regarding even hiring some help, regarding like a babysitter from time to time. And we're even seeing what that looks like, even for maternity leave for Tori, what that looks like. Cause transparently, we, she did not take a maternity leave with Micah because we, we couldn't afford to take off for work because we were at the time like paycheck to paycheck, it felt like. Mm -hmm. It was just, we had, we had made some, some, some short-sighted decisions that led to pain. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know even where I'm going with this advice, but what I'm saying is, is that life can be so fun and so full of joy with the right priorities. But what was happening is, is my family was getting the scraps of my energy, of my mental bandwidth, because I was focusing on a different priority first. And so we had a, a really deep conversation about how like our house is lacking joy. Mm -hmm. Like we want to have a house that's full of laughter. And why is that missing? It's because we don't have anything left in the tank at the end of the day, because we're just checking everything off our to-do list. But doesn't it seem like joy should be a priority in our home? Yeah. And yeah. That's, that's obvious. And so, okay, well, what does that look like to make sure that we're leaving space for God's interruptions, God's good interruptions? Not that God has bad ones, but you know what I mean? They're all good. You get what I'm saying. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? Do people get what I'm saying? Yeah. So anyways, yeah. Did anything I say make sense? It all made sense. Do you like it? you have any notes? Yes. you have any feedback? Any thoughts, concerns, no, questions? All good. Do you think I'm handsome? I do think you're handsome. Why don't you give me a kiss? Ew, sorry. Anyways. Mike is probably awake.
Oh my gosh, we gotta look at the monitor. Yeah. Oh That's my why. goodness. Oh my good. Nope. Okay. He's still asleep. Oh my gosh, babe. You just scared me. I was just saying, he was moving a second ago, so I was like listening, but in the back of my head, I'm also like, I was not thinking. Oh my goodness. I didn't think about taking the monitor. So, do you want to tell me what to do with all this? Want to put me to work? I do, but I have to pee first. The baby's on my, okay. on my bladder. So, we'll come along. No. I'm kidding. Okay, bye. Okay, if I'm putting you to work, I think the biggest thing I need is to look at the current mess and mm -hmm. make sections. You know what I mean? Like all of this is bone broth, so this will go all together, or like mm -hmm. little snacks or fruit or tea or bread, et cetera. And then I can put them into, oh no, no. What? I do it so you can see it. I may also just be getting in her way. See how like when you see it, you can see it like that. You know, sometimes when you like feel like you guys want to help and end up getting away. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna help you though. Okay. I'm gonna put the camera up. Where are you gonna put it? I don't know. <laughs> what, you ever seen that meme? The girl with the glasses? <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so I'll give y'all the update on the whole glucose test thing, which I made some very funny decisions now that I'm like looking back. So I failed the just normal, it's supposed to be random, which it definitely was random. But the night before my test, I was craving strawberries and Nutella, and I had that with chocolate milk. And then the next morning I had Chick-fil-A, and then I was eating these plantain chips on the way to the appointment, so. I just don't think that was the best preparation for the test, but now we're filming this on, is it Thursday? Today is the Thursday. Today's Thursday that we're filming this. My test is on Monday, the three hour to four hour fasted situation. Something you should know about me is I actually get pretty sick in the morning if I don't eat like right away. So I am very much not looking forward to it. And I'm pretty sure it's a requirement of the birth center that I pass this test. And so there's a little bit of like stress regarding it because I'm so like late in the game if I were to not pass it. I would have to like change my entire birth plan and all the things. And so that just is not ideal, but I'm reminding myself that God is in control. This is where we're supposed to birth this baby. Then everything will just be smooth and good. The other thing that's been a little weird is I have um, pregnancy anemia. And so I just started taking some beef liver supplements. I'm trying to eat more foods that are like rich in iron, but it has been happening where I'm having these weird, like I feel like I'm gonna pass out and faint but I don't know what you'd even call it. Where just like your vision goes blurry and you feel like you're gonna pass out. That's how I feel when I see you. Anyway, so I'd love your prayers, any advice, et cetera. I know this will go live after my test. And so I'll let y'all know over on Instagram if I pass it. I was even thinking about just vlogging the experience. If that's, well, again, it'll have already happened once this video gets posted, but I might vlog the experience. We'll see, cause I'm just, I'm a little nervous, you guys. I'm a little nervous. But anyways, Mike is still sleeping. Praise the Lord. We're gonna try to knock this out real quick. But that was my update that I wanted to give y'all. And okay, so we're all well, we're, we're almost done. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Introducing in a world where things are cluttered, one woman working with Coles to declutter our lives. Introducing Dory Master. Sorry, that's so annoying. <laughs> what? Oh, let me zoom out. <gasps> wow. Is so much better. Ooh. Like, I feel like we had no oh. space, and now we actually have so much extra space. I can't even see it all because it's so organized. Isn't that crazy? It's gorgeous. I love it. Look at these little guys. And the pantry's I nice too. To, I have to give Chad. 
a call out for his cough drops. They got their own little drawer. Which, how fun are those that they pull out like that? This is just fun in general. You're fun. Mike is still asleep. Mike is still asleep. It's been literally two and a half hours. Are you excited? Yes, I'm, I'm really, I think I was getting stressed out because he started moving mm -hmm. and we were nowhere near done. Yep. And I was like, oh no. But now this feels so good. So clean. I'm about to make a little iced coffee. <sighs> I thought you were gonna say you're about to kiss water. me. Then I'll kiss you. All right, so what's next? We're gonna talk I about nursery stuff? Them, I'm gonna show them the nursery once Mike wakes up. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, well, we'll see you in three, two. Okay, so it's later on in the afternoon. We haven't showed you guys the cool stuff yet. Tori's doing some dishes and Micah is helping out. Mister, what are you doing in there? What are you doing? And I'm just trying to make a couple quick steaks and he's helping out. Uh -huh. What do you think, mom? Thanks, buddy. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And the best part is, is that there's like more in here. Okay, Bubba. Okay. By the way, just in case you guys are wondering, Cottonelle, the best. For the best. Anyways, we're going to show you guys the nursery stuff here yeah, in a moment. I'm, I'm just going to get the steak going. Actually, have you guys ever seen the trick of how to know that a cast iron skillet's ready? Why don't I show you? Okay, so you can see my hands. So you can see if I pour some water in here, you see how the water is kind of burning a little bit? Like it's evaporating, you're like, okay, what's happening here? So that means that it's not ready yet. No ready. By the way, I think I said cast iron earlier, this is stainless steel. A lot of people are afraid to cook on stainless steel, but let me learn you something. Okay, so we're back after maybe like 30 seconds and I'm gonna pour some more water in there and watch what happens. Oh, would you look at that? That's called science, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna turn the heat down. See how the water is now like the stainless steel is like bonded and it's tight and creating like a non-stick surface. And so now this water can sit in there and it'll just slowly evaporate. Yeah, science. Look at that, y'all. How crazy. It's time for the paint, but also we're in the loft and I feel like maybe we should give you the loft reveal that y'all have been asking for. It's it's actually not as bad as what it once was. It's gotten a lot That's better. That's true, yeah. It's like an, it's an organized, it's an organized. Yep. It's an organized mess. Okay, here we go, loft. Okay, this is stuff from the baby sprinkle, frames, decor, just, Y'all, it's just a lot, but honestly, we are, <laughs> I'm gonna make another Kohl's order because they have so many great storage options on their site. And now that I can see everything that we have, I feel like I know what to order. So if you're like in organization mode, new home, etc., I feel like that stuff can get so expensive so fast and they have the best deals. I was even thinking about this sweater is from Kohl's too. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. So we've like <clears throat> recently just become obsessed and we will leave that link below. But yeah. I do want to show you all the paint colors. Okay, paint colors. I also just want to point out my incredible receipt collection that we have over here. Y'all, these are just containers of receipts just in case we ever get audited. Hey, Micah, want to come over here? Let's go. Come here. He wants the vacuum. Come here, bud. Okay. Okay, so let me give it the preface, preface. of... 
Micah's room is going to be like a dusty blue and baby two's room is going to be like a sagey green. I want them to coordinate, but not like perfectly match. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Coordinate. And then they have a Jack and Jill bathroom and I'm thinking about finding a wallpaper that incorporates both colors. And so it kind of like ties it off. And so he wants me to turn it on. There you go, so. Bubba. Now you can go vacuum. You can go do the chores. Yep. Yeah. Back. We got him cleaning the baseboards. He's gotta, he's gotta pay rent around here. <laughs> okay, so this is what I got currently, and I'm not gonna lie, I think I already have my favorites. I will say one is reading a little gray, one's a little dark. And then gray, like, dark, yes. Feels like a blue. A little dark, yes. A little, a little throw uppy. Yeah, the color just isn't quite it, and so I feel like. We haven't even painted the actual like samples on the wall yet, which I hear like you really should do before you paint an entire room this color. Cause I'm like talking, I want to paint baseboards, potentially even the ceiling. Like, oh wow. Like literally like the whole room. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna show them one other thing in the other nursery. So yeah. this of course, like th this will be a whole reveal and we'll do a house tour once everything's done. This is Micah's nursery. So if you can go ahead and see that this is gonna be a lot of stuff done here. Then through the Jack and Jill bathroom, Micah's giving us a tour. This is baby number two's room. And so got a bit, I got to build the crib, got to build the dresser, got to build the recliner. And um, this is a secret weapon that we didn't know that we have. <laughs> Y'all look at this. This is why you need to get good storage options. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah. This closet is bigger than our closet in our bedroom, which actually makes me a little upset now that yeah, I it say it out bigger, loud. But I mean, we're taking up three fourths of it. So yeah, absolutely. We put all of our spring stuff in this closet because all of our coats and everything for winter, which we actually use here, took up so much room in our closet downstairs. And so we're literally just gonna do a little switcheroo and everything that like does not currently fit this baby bump, which it's popping. It's popping. Um, it's also up here. So. <laughs> Bubba, you miss these old toys? Do these are Ninbe? these are little brothers' toys now. He said, "I'm still gonna play with them." Yeah. <laughs> but okay, I think that's it for this vlog. Honestly. Yeah. yeah. That's it. If you we guys are nice. looking for amazing house refreshment stuff that's stress free, go to Kohl's. There's a link in the description. We're gonna keep just making this house a home as we prepare for baby number two, whose name is. Hi.